and Joe Toad and you. With us about the U and Bill Blue, so meet the gang, cause the boys are here, the boys to entertain you. B O B O Y S, boys to entertain you. The gang, cause the boys are here, the boys to entertain you. With the music and laughter to help you on your way, to raising the rafters with the hey, hey, hey. Me, the all gang. right, fellas, all right, let's try it again. And this time, get it right. Remember, this is supposed to be a sophisticated number. You're all smart, New York men about town. <laughs> How can I be sophisticated in this heat? I'm sweating like a pig. <laughs> Just do what I do. Imagine you're sweating champagne and diamonds. <laughs> all right, Gloria. <laughs> look, kids, look, kids. When he gets to the line, I'm putting him his shirt studs. Some of you are putting them in from the top. Yeah. And some from the bottom, and you lost it. Look as if you're doing up your flies. <laughs> you must all do it from the same place, here. Yes, from your navels. <laughs> Thank you. Solid is talking. <laughs> right, we'll try it from there. Ready? A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Ah, I'm working in my shirt. Start. Uh, solid, oh, solid. Uh, hold it, hold it, hold it, kids. We won't have to actually put the studs in, will we? No, of course not. A really great big sweaty bush idiot. Look, oh, Carl, I've warned you once before. Oh, next time, oh, oh, like, knock, knock it off. He nearly did. We're <laughs> <laughs> gonna do a show tonight. Right. Now, from the top. Are you ready? <laughs> now, from the top. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Ah. Randy, any news? What up? Graham Saab is still on Jankers and not free to play piano for your excellent rehearsal. Oh, oh, great. Right. Oh. <coughs> Am I supposed to rehearse a professional show without Paderewski at the piano? Do you see the sergeant major? Yes, sir, but he is not listening to me. All time saying, shut up. And Saab. <laughs> He's making Graham Saab whiten the ish stones. Oh, isn't it marvellous? Am I trying to do my Ginger Rogers and the pianist is whitening stones? <laughs> that Sergeant Major Shallot goes too far. I mean, the way he carries on, anyone think we were soldiers or something? <laughs> Look, if we are going to open tonight, we've got to get a Jody on. And when in doubt, fellas, go to the top man. I'm going to send a note to the Colonel. Step on, no, that's solid. Oh, Sergeant Major shut, shut up and have you all just forgotten. Oh, no, he won't, sunshine. Because we're the Colonel's blue eyed boys, remember? Now, Randy, I'm giving you a chitty to mm. take to the Colonel's side. Tea Kai? Take that! Right. Bake for someone. Here, Snowy, I've got some tea. Right. Quick, quick, quick. Pencil, pencil! Right. I am putting on my top hat, tying on my white tie, brushing on my tails. Graham Sharp! Graham Sharp! Do not worry! All is well! I have one cheaty for Colonel Sharp. It will secure your release so that you will be free to tickle your ivories. <laughs> <laughs> no, Randy, it won't work. They'll never let me off Jankers until I finish painting all these stones. Oh, gosh, it's hot, isn't it? Now, what you're needing is one nice cup of tea. Hey, Tavala! Hello! I will whiten the stones for you. Oh, no, no, no. Where is that? Is it very infra dig? For a man like you to be doing work like this, you must think of your beautiful hands and let me do the infra digging. <laughs> Where is that damn Chawala? Chawala! Tell her, tell her, tell her. All right. All right. Thank you. I'm approaching as instantly as possible. <laughs> Don't go shouting about as if I was some damn native. <laughs> Thumbs up. 
I will shout at you as much as I please. Okay, Jaldi. One piala garam cha gram saab ke liye jitne jaldi ho saki isme daun chalo chalo. Jaldi good saab. Muhammad make most excellent good tea saab. Yes, I'm sure. You will be most enchanted. Lo, do pay. Okay, chalo chalo. Now saab. Be seated so you may drink your tea more comfortably because it is more fitting. Well, thank you very much. It's surely decent of you, yes. Sir, hey, ha saab. Royal Artillery Depot. Uh, what was the fare? Uh, two rupees, sir. What? Two hey. Two hey, one moment, sir. One moment. How much is this fellow charging you? He said, two rupees or whatever that is. Two rupees? But it is only one mile to railway station. Leave this to me, sir. I know how to handle these damn natives. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> sir. You enjoying your tea, Gunner? Yes, I What the hell's going on? <laughs> Get that dirty charon off my veranda! How dare you? For two pins, I take your pass away and have you off the camp! Oh, Sergeant Minister, please don't do that. I'm a poor, humble man with a wife and eight lovingly children to support. Don't take away my livelihood. I'm urgently... Shut up! I'm completely shut up. <laughs> What's your name, Gunner? Parkin, sir. Where have you been? The rest of the draft arrived yesterday. You are 24 hours late. Well, you see... Shut up! <laughs> Depot orders state that BORs will not travel in rickshaws. Oh, I'm sorry, Sergeant Major. Must no excuse, lovely boy. <laughs> they're dirty, they're filthy, and you could catch some very nasty things sitting in one of those. <laughs> Stand still when I'm talking to you! <laughs> you? Get that dirty, lousy, flea-ridden contraption out of here! Now move yourself, Jaldi, Jaldi! Oh, Jaldi, well done, Sergeant Major Saab. That is putting him in his place. Shut up! <laughs> Willingly, Saab, you are too kind. <laughs> now, Mr. Lardy Dar Gunner Graham, what did you think you was doing sitting down by there drinking tea? Why wasn't you whitening them stones? I'm terribly sorry, Sergeant. Shut up! Oh, Sar Sergeant Major Saab, it is totally my fault. I did not think it right for a man like Graham Saab to be doing job like this. After all, he's a highly educated man, and has a benefit of world-famous Oxford University hallowed walls and ivy, ivy-covered balls, is it, isn't it? Shut up. <laughs> now, Bearer, take Gunner Park in the quartermaster stores and draw a mosquito net. Jolly. Saab, I have one... Jolly! Get on with those stones, Graham. Absolutely, right away, Sergeant Major. <laughs> Why aren't you pangering? Panka kis liye kare office mein koi nahi hai. What do you say? He say there is no point in pangering if there is no one in office to panka for. <laughs> what do you tell him his job is to panka, and he has to keep pangering, or he'll get my foot up his panka. <laughs> Don't you worry, sir. I will tell him good and strong. Too many of these damn people too big for damn boots. <laughs> Royal Artillery Depot, Doolally, Battery Sergeant Major Williams here. Inspector Singh, sir. Uh, no, sir, the Colonel's not here at the moment. Perhaps you care to ring back. Very good, sir. Who's that, Sergeant Major? I didn't see you there, sir. It was Inspector Singh, sir. He's, uh, he's ringing back later. You all right, sir? As a matter of fact, I'm terribly worried, Sergeant Major. Exposing it to this hot sun seems to shrivel it up. <laughs> You ought to keep it covered, sir. Yes. As a matter of fact, I was thinking of putting a little tent over it. <laughs> Have a look. Tell me what you think. <laughs> After
Oh, you should know. You've been out here longer than I have. <laughs> well, you're quite right, sir. Definitely shriveled. Morning, Sergeant Adam. Sir. I'd give it up for you. <laughs> Never do any good in this damn heat, oh boy. Come in! What do you want, Bearer? Sergeant Major Sapp. I have one duty for Colonel Sapp. I thought I told you to get over the quartermaster stores and get a parking. Uh, just going, Sergeant Major Oh, that Johnny Johnny! You are too kind. <laughs> Who's it from? It's from Bombardier Solomon, sir. Sending you notes? I've heard such impertinence in all my life. What does he say? It says, can Pombardier Solomons have the services of Gunner Graham as he is needed most urgently for a year or so? Well, that's the pianist bloke, isn't it? Yes, sir. Well, we'd better send him over there straight away. So he's on jankers. Oh, I can't have that, such Major. It's their opening night. We don't want the show to be shambles, do we? Now, see to it, we do. Very good, sir. Mm. Gunner Graham. Sergeant Major. Report the concert party Barshi straight away. There's Matt! Oh, that really is jolly sporting of him. <laughs> With respect, sir, I must point out that those men in the concert party have no right to be here. They should all be posted up the jungle. It's only a holding unit. Exactly. Troops arriving here from the UK know it's the last stop before they go on to Burma. Their morale must be kept up, Sergeant Major. The concert party does a first-rate job. The men need to be entertained. Well, they do have the garrison kinemar, sir. Oh, that's not quite the same thing at all, is it, Ashwood? Oh, dear, sir. You can't beat a live show. Young fellas and girls on the stage, first rate. <laughs> They're not real girls, sir. <laughs> They're men dressed up as girls. I'm well aware of that, Sergeant Major. I'm not a complete fool, you know. <laughs> well, with the footlights on them and lipstick and powder and... Uh, one thing and another. <laughs> they don't look too bad at all, really. I mean, damn it, in this godforsaken hole, they're the nearest thing we're going to get to women. I thought you put that very well, Ashwood. Thank you. <laughs> Such a slobby shower, sir. I mean, every one of them's got a different hat on. I can't help that, Sergeant Major. This is a holding unit. I'm not authorized to issue extra clothing unless the men are posted to active service. But I do see your point. Uh, we need a concert party. What we want is a smart concert party. So, uh, uh, give them some parades or something. Right, sir. I'll smarten them up. <laughs> Captain Ashwood. Hey, good morning, Captain Ashwood. Inspector Singh here. Oh, hello, old boy. And what can I do for you? I just thought I'd give you a tinkle. I've got a bit of a flap on here. There's a demonstration tonight. Oh, law. A big one? No, only about 500. But the procession will be passing by the camp. Just keep the gate shut and stay inside. All my men will be on duty. Uh, well, thanks for warning us. Cheerio. Doodle, people, boy. Uh, that was uh, Inspector Singh, sir, the policeman chap here. There's going to be a demonstration tonight. Oh, not another one. Never heard such impertinence in all my life, sir. Here we are fighting to defend their country from the Japanese. And how do they repay us? March by the camp every night shouting, Quit India. <laughs> Base ingratitude, that's what it is. Quit India. I should bloody Kogo. <laughs> Britannia, Britannia rules the waves. Britain never, never, never shall be slaves. Ande ka sabab kya hai? Hans kar kaha diwane. You wait here, Saab. I will report to Sergeant Major Saab. Right. Hey, you! Sit up straight when you are punkering. Where do you think you are, for God's sake? Sit up straight. Punkagaro. Sit up straight. Punkagaro. How dare you? To who do you think you are talking to? I am bearer to concert party, which is top hole job. So don't you go getting ideas above your terminus. <laughs> Wait outside! <laughs> Sergeant Major Saab, kindly ask you to wait. <laughs> Be seated, Saab. He shirts a lot, don't he? Oh, he's not hard, man. Only on top is he fierce. At bottom, he is soft, like red mango. 
He weren't very soft with that fella pulling that string. He kicked him. Oh, but he did not kick him very hard, sir. And he's only low caste fellow. <laughs> we British have to be firm. <laughs> it is only way. We must maintain law and order. <laughs> There's only thing these fellows understand. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Let me give you one illustration. Now take the bee. One nice, furry little fellow in football jersey, isn't it? <laughs> he go about doing his business in peace and making beautiful sweetness. But if anybody give him any trouble, there is always sting in the bum. <laughs> That is sting in the bum, sir. <laughs> Come in, Tony Bina, sir. Come in, sir. Gunnar Parkin has drawn mosquito net, but where must he go for accommodation? He'll only be here a couple of days. I'll put him in the concert party, Basha. Oh, just out. Ten a minute. Huh? I'll come with you. Got a few words to say to that lot. <laughs> I'm Wabas Aigar or Derry Tabligar and shit upstate when you're bunkering. <laughs> <laughs> Schmeilands. You've got to sell it. Give it the old eyes and teeth. Shall I show you? Yeah, yeah, right. Maestro. Pay the hands I love beside the shelly Dad, now your bags get funny! Look at that! Move it! <laughs> Gunner. Spare sharp oil at the end. Bearer. Yep. Show him how to put up his mosquito net. Jaldi, Jaldi. Just have Jaldi, very Jaldi. Stand to attention when I'm talking to you! I've never seen anything like it in all my life. You've got more rats amongst you than a lady's flaming haberdashery department. <laughs> Where have you been, Gunner? Sorry, Sergeant Major. I'm not well. I've got a Bombay trot. <laughs> You've been eating bananas without cutting the ends off. <laughs> Shut up! Depot orders clearly state that BORs will not eat bananas without cutting the ends off. <laughs> now fall in, lovely boy. Yes, Sergeant Major. I mean, no, I can it. <laughs> He's got no control. <laughs> That's his trouble. He wants to get some service in. Don't he? <laughs> I wish I had a pound for every dose of the deli belly I've had. <laughs> Is that the only hat you've got, Gunner? Yes, Sergeant Major. It's M.O.'s orders. It protects my head from the sun. I've got very thin skull bones. <laughs> well, you know why that is, don't you? No. You've got such a huge brain. <laughs> it's rubbing on the inside and wearing your head out. <laughs> so funny. Mr. Lardy Dargana Graham. You wouldn't know the difference if I climbed up your nostrils and kicked your brains out! <laughs> but there's one thing you've got to remember, lovely boy. When you were up there in Burma wading through swamps, with slant-eyed Japanese waiting for you behind every tree, your university education won't do you much good up there, will it? No, Sergeant Major. No, Sergeant Major. <laughs> I know, boy. I had two years up in that jungle, playing hide-and-seek with those sons of the rising sun. And I am going to make sure that you, and the rest of you, poofs, <laughs> end up right there. Oh, 
I know you are the Colonel's favourites, but he's only got to take one step outside this camp, and I'll have you on that train and up the jungle so fast your feet won't touch the ground! <laughs> That's all. Dismiss! And move yourselves up! Oh, really? Those awful, boring jungle reminiscences. <laughs> oh, really, old Shatter's gone too far this time. He's upset me with all that talk about jungles. <laughs> I mean, I mean, am I expected to do a show tonight after all that chat? You can do it, lovely girl. <laughs> Why does everyone call the Sergeant Major old Shatter? Because, sir, uh, he is all the time telling everybody to shut up. He never stops. All the time saying, shut up, shut up, shut up, all the time, shut up, shut up. Oh, blimey, dearie me. <laughs> You're not feeling well? I feel terrible. I'm frightened to cough. I'll have to go sick. You can't do that. We'll be one short for the top hat number. I can't help that. How can he move? Oh, you're so amateurish. Listen, Petal, I've warned you for the last time. Ah! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, we lock up the number one short, I thought. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Let's do it one short. <laughs> oh, very good. Very shrewd. And then old Shadak will know we can manage with one less. And Atlas will get posted. And that'll only be the thin end of the wedge. Before you can turn around, you'll all be back in Burma. Oh, oh no, fellas. We've well, got to find someone to take his place. Sorry I've not been able to write home before. I've now been out in India two days and it's awful. No, I better not put that. <laughs> I've now been out in India two days. And it ain't half up, Mum. <laughs> Oh, happy days are here again. Fine, fine. I'm right half nervous. What happens if I forget any words? Just open and shut your mouth. No one will know the difference. I don't believe it. Don't, don't drop your flipping stick. No, right. Okay. Do your flies up. <laughs> Going well, Sergeant Major? Yes, sir. Didn't you want to see it? No, sir. I cannot bear to see those pansies poncing about on the stage. <laughs> Paint on their faces, it's, it's not normal and it's not natural. <clears throat> Captain Ashwood here. Hello, Ashwood, old boy. Sing here. I have some bad news for you. The demonstration has started. Uh, don't worry, old man. We can handle it. We've put on extra guards. You say there'd only be about 500 in the procession? Lord, no, more like 5,000. Never seen such a mob. They've broken every glass window in the police station except my office. Fortunately, that's too far for them to throw. <laughs> Must be some damn cricketers amongst them. <laughs> uh, they've put every man you have in the camp on duty. I'm coming over now. Bit of a flap on, Sergeant Major. There's a mob of 5,000 making for the camp. What a damn nuisance. All the chaps are in the theatre watching the show. Don't you worry about that, sir. I'll soon have them out of there. <laughs> right, I'll warn the guard room. Seriously, fellas, seriously, on a serious note, we must say goodbye to the banks of the Shalimar and hello to the glamour and sophistication of New York's Broadway, Park Avenue and 42nd Street. Take it away, Professor! <laughs> Anywhere! <laughs> and you see the man that put them on your chair, sir? But they're not there!
dead now, sweetheart. Well, you'll have to go on without them. I oh, don't be stupid. How can I do my ginger rogers? I kick him out of me, do I say it? I'm very unfair. There's no time. Don't be so unprofessional. Oh, very well. Just have to make me high kicks, low kicks, that's all. You're all low slow. Take your hands off. Murder the number when I have nothing. Oh, shut up. It's like amateurizing dicks here. Never had this old days. What are you doing? Naughty. Solomon. Oh, uh, he's doing Freddy Stair Sub. Is he? I said, stop the show, Bombardier, dear, stop the show. I said, stop the show. He's so sharp, he's trying to say something. Take the notice, just ignore him. Oh. Right. Whee! duty at once. Oh. A riot is imminent. <laughs> a large body of hostile civilians is approaching a camp. Steel helmets, <laughs> rifles and bayonets, <laughs> and the double move! Hey. I'm on you, love! I'm on you, lovely boys. You are coming with me on the main gate. Yeah, right? but soldier, you... Move it, move oh, it! Oh, it. Jody, Jody. Move it! Let's have it out there now. Here they come. Look at those bombardier. Look at them. Look at what, Sergeant Major? Those banners. British go home. British go home. Bloody cheek. <laughs> Here we are fighting to defend their country. And this is how they repay us. <laughs> you rotten and dreadful bastards! How dare you! How flaming dare you! all over my best tunic. You should take it as a compliment to them the cow's a sacred animal. <laughs> what to do, Sergeant Major Saab? What is world coming to? When will these damn natives learn to keep their place? Chill with the hey, hey, hey Just gather around and put down your gun With us about, there's plenty of fun So, hey, 